Hey, this is Neil Berman for the On Button, and I'm going to show you a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the Flash Beta for Windows that supports graphics hardware acceleration, comparing that to the Mac version of Flash which does not support hardware acceleration. The laptop on the left is a MacBook with an Intel T7200 2 GHz processor with two cores, and the laptop on the right is a Windows Acer machine with a T6400 that's also running at 2 GHz with two cores. The MacBook has 4 MB of level 2 cache and the Acer has just 2 MB of level 2 cache. But other than that, the processors are of a fairly similar speed. Now the Acer also has an NVIDIA 9600 GT graphics card on board. This new version of Flash allows that 9600 to be used to help decode the flash video that's going to be playing back. The content we're going to be looking at is in 720p. It's being streamed from YouTube. I've allowed both of the machines to buffer the entire video, so this has nothing to do with the actual streaming speeds on the internet. This is purely a comparison of how each of the machines decodes and plays back the two videos which are identical. So let's actually get these two going at the same time. And what we can see is that the Acer on the right hand side, which is running Windows Vista 64-bit, and the Flash Beta, which has a hardware graphics card acceleration, is very smooth at 720p. Uh, the MacBook on the left hand side, um, which is purely using its CPU because of uh, whatever is going on between Apple and, and Adobe, um, so you know it, it doesn't actually provide a fluid experience. So that was a comparison of the new Flash Beta running on uh, Windows Vista 64-bit with graphics hardware acceleration comparing to uh, the Mac version without hardware acceleration. I'm Neil Berman for the Unbutton.